And good morning. It is Friday. I hope your morning is uh, going well for you. Maybe you've had a few minutes to get up and at them. If not, you're just getting up. Kind of warm outside, 60 as we begin this Friday. Now, keep in mind, as uh, we head into this weekend, it ends on Sunday. The month of February is over. Come Monday, it'll be March the 1st. Uh, shortest uh, month of the year, but boy, this one sure seems like it flew by. It was, uh, it was very quick. Uh, a lot of events yesterday. Uh, this morning at 8.30, don't forget to join us. Uh, we'll replay the video of where the guy was able to walk away from that wreck on I-20 last night. H have you seen that yet? It's on my page. Uh, he was trapped. They pulled him out, and he walked away. Uh, nothing short of a miracle. Uh, also, the, the gentleman that was involved in the wreck in uh, Clark County uh, walked away from that. Is in the hospital now. A lot of miracles did happen yesterday. Uh, always keep in mind there's somebody uh, bigger than us watching out for us. It really does help us from time to time. And uh, uh, say a little prayer for them. they got some recovery uh, to come, I'm sure. Well, as we get this day started, I've, I've had some coffee, and I think I've got most everything ready. Let's, uh, let's get this started, and let's talk about uh, fog this morning, first off. Uh, to the south of Meridian, there, there is going to be fog as we pull this up from the National Weather Service, this is going to be in the Laurel area this morning as you drop down into Jones County, down in this area near Brookhaven toward Hattiesburg. If you've got to go south of Meridian today, it's going to be dense fog. And the heavier you get, uh, the closer you get, rather, let me back up on that, to Hattiesburg, the thicker it's going to be there on 2059. So if you've got to go that way, be extremely careful. Uh, now, the National Weather Service is telling us to the north, northwest of Meridian from Sunday night into Monday, there's a chance of some heavy showers just to the north of us. And we look at that map of what they've put out this morning. Uh, this is going to grab uh, Columbus and just barely the northern portion of Winston County and take in all the Delta in these areas. Now, I'm not telling you that it's uh, not going to rain here because we do have rain coming. It's just they will have a little bit more than we do. So we'll look at radar here in just a second and look at that. As a matter of fact, let's go pull that up now and look at the uh, the threats that we've got with thunderstorms today. Overall, let's pull this up here. Uh, as you see this, this whole light green area is chances of rain. All right, now let's move in here and just show exactly where these heavier uh, places are that it could happen today, who could get the most rain. Let's turn on the locations where you know where you are in relation to this. As we move in on this, uh, the line should be northwestern Kemper County. It's going to be roughly from Wahalik, uh, back due west, cutting across, taking in uh, where you'll get into where Siples Mills is, uh, Linville, and also up in Preston, Mississippi. Now, Sugarlock and this whole area here uh, in Brooksville, Winston County, on up past the jail in these areas here, uh, is going to get it noxipator. As you come across into Neshoba County, uh, the city limits of uh, uh, Philadelphia is kind of the line there that could get a little bit of this, stretching back toward Carthage. And points for the north and this is fringe here now this is on the the utmost southern edge of it here in Neshoba County so if you live there that's uh it's a chance right along in there it could be a little bit north but it could dip down as far south as there so that's kind of how to plan your day on that make sure of that rain chances uh here in the Meridian area should drift away here in the next 30 minutes it's going to be cloudy for the most part of today but 77 for a high today that's warm all right, let's back out now, and let me uh, get rid of this so you can see what the radar shows us, where the, where the weather is right now. As we turn this off, let's, uh, let's zoom up here and take a look here. Uh, here we are. This is where I'm sitting here in Lauderdale County right now. As, as you go north, you start seeing a few showers here just east of Macon, uh, where Sugarlock is just out east there. As you go out toward Prairie Point in these areas here, it's going to be a little bit of showers there on up to the edge there in Alabama there, Pickensville. The further north you go, you go to get into Columbus and light showers. A few things happen around uh, Starkville this morning, light showers. Heavier rain out to the east in Alabama, and as we go back into northern Mississippi, uh, Tupelo, look at this above here at the state line. Back west as you go across the state of Mississippi near Oxford, uh, Ole Miss in these areas already getting rain. And uh, Helena, uh, Arkansas, Helena, Arkansas, I said that wrong, didn't I? Coming into the Mississippi Delta there, Clarksville. Uh, as we back out, now there's more rain 
back out here toward uh, Texarkana and these areas. Due north of Shreveport, heavy rain this morning as you cross that Arkansas line. And a little bit of scattered showers there around Dallas if you've got to go somewhere, fly somewhere big today. As I mentioned earlier about that fog, that if you're headed toward uh, uh, Hattiesburg this morning, look at this as you drop off here. All the way to the coast, it's going to be thick fog. And this starts at Beaumont. Goes all the way across uh, south of Lafayette through New Orleans, Gulfport, all the way over to Gainesville, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. Lots of fog in those areas. So if you're watching uh, anywhere out of the area, that's what we've got there. As we look back at the state, a lot of wind out here uh, in New Mexico. Still winter. Look at this up here in Idaho and Portland, Oregon. Still wintry stuff that none of us in the south want to see again, do we? No, absolutely not. Uh, I can't imagine living in that every day and no chance of it getting warm and that going away. So that's happening out in the northwest this morning as we uh, look at a flood watch there in Omaha and then you get into West Virginia. They still got a little bit of a winter weather advisor there and all those hills and things they've got in West Virginia. So uh, at least that's what they used to call it when I was a kid. I'll, uh, I'll West Virginia. I'll say that for everybody else. That's a, a, an outlook nationwide, a, a, a picture uh, so to speak, at this moment right now that's going on nationwide. Uh, as we start looking at what else the National Weather Service has to tell us this morning, as I said today, it'll be clearing eventually with us. We have a lot of clouds, and that's slowly going to make way uh, and get, hit a high point of 77 this afternoon. So uh, don't expect it to just be jumping in sunshine and all of a sudden it'll be a little bit. As we look at the temps over the next 10 days, what's going to be happening to us? Do we need... Uh, because you know you need to be prepared in your vehicle. You need to have an umbrella, a big thick coat, and a short sleeve shirt for backup at any given time. So the uh, the National Weather Service NOAA weather tells us that over the next ten days, well, it's going to be warm and above average is what we're looking for. Uh, so that's kind of how to keep a, an extra one in your vehicle so you'll be prepared. Always have a short sleeve shirt tucked under the back seat because you get hot out there. Y'all know what I mean. As we look at record highs, record lows, what went on this day, it was 1986 we had a high of 82 that was warm. And we're going to get close today with 77, but not break the record. It was 1965 that we had a low of 21 on this day. That was, that was chilly. 1965, that's been a day or two, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Uh, and I'm thankful for the 70-degree weather right now. I'm telling you, I'm, uh, I am one of those that is really ready for spring. I'm not, uh, I'm not wanting to hang around and uh, hold on to that groundhog's thoughts there. As we turn to the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, have you dropped in lately and seen Joe? I hope so. One of the nicest places you'll ever go grocery shopping and save you money on top of that. They've got Florida strawberries this week for $2.99. You can also get those fresh tomatoes for $1.59. Make you a great sandwich along with uh, navel oranges. $3.99 for that four-pound bag. You can also get the celery stalk. $1.99 for that 16 ounce. Included the, the white, yellow, or sweet onions. If you're going to be doing some cooking, uh, I hope you don't eat those just as a whole. Hope not. 89 cents a pound. You can also get the chicken noodle or cream of mushroom. Those are two for $3 right now for that 26 ounce can. Uh, always trying to save you money. A dollar for the saltine crackers. They're the Piggly Wiggly brand if you need some crackers there, along with salt, uh, sugar rather. They got salt also. But four pound bag at $2.29. You can also take advantage of Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville macaroni and cheese. Two for $3. That's a great bargain also. As we go through other things, Chips Ahoy, you gotta have some of those. You can also get the T-Bone Steaks, $5.99 a pound there for T-Bone. You can get the Baby Bag Ribs, $3.99 a pound. Great for cooking this weekend if you're going to be doing something. And also those Sanderson Farms Whole Fryers at $0.69 cents a pound if you want to do your whole chicken there. Including Wieners, $1.79, Coca-Cola products, and purified water, three for $10. All of this is going on at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. I hope you'll drop in and visit with Joe. Save yourself uh, some money. Of course, Joe knows how hard it is to earn money, and they're trying to pass on those savings because, well, you got to have some food, and they want to be your choice of where you do your grocery shopping. Drop in and visit with them today there in Collinsville. The Carnage is coming to your town. The All-Star Monster Truck Tour. 
See the biggest and wildest monster trucks do battle on a huge course. Plus, see the monsters up close. Enjoy the kids' fun zone and take a ride on a real monster truck. Kids' tickets are just 10 bucks, and adults can save up to 60% on tickets. Don't wait. The earlier you buy, the more you save. Get your discounts by clicking here now. Monster trucks are always fun. I don't care who you are. That 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 is a good thing. Uh, Ricky Bobby and the gang have all that coming for you at a Why Not Motorsports Park. Make sure you can get out and enjoy that. Want to say some good morning. Sandy White is up this morning. I hope you got that makeup on. You're already ready to go. Are you, Sandy? We're checking on you. Good thing there's not FaceTime, isn't it? Good morning to Tommy Ainsworth. He's up and uh, moving around a little bit this morning. Also, Miss Milton uh, Milton Savile is up. Good morning. Have a blessed day. Debbie Stewart is stirring a little bit today. Let's see here. Beth Vick is up. Good morning to you also. Sue Thrash, Miss Arlene, too, says good morning, and thank goodness it's Friday. And, you know, there's probably a lot of people thinking like that. We'll uh, look here in just a second of where people's power is. Uh, there's still about seven people in the Shoba County. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Teresa Tuberville, good morning. Hope you're doing well also. Sylvia Stewart, good morning. Donna Roseman, bring on the warm weather past ready. I have to agree with you, Donna, on that. That is uh, just such a, a way to word this. Now, as I said, uh, Central Electric has turned on everybody that they can in the Shoba County. I think it's down to seven people and that's people with issues uh, that they've got to fix before the power company can hook their home back up. Let's look at statewide uh, and into Texas of what's going on with power and people out there this morning. As we turn to this, we look at Texas. Texas still at 18, almost 19,000 people without power. Louisiana is at only 436. Alabama has 319 people. And Mississippi has cut that number down to 1,250 people without power. As you can finally see here, Lauderdale County, zero. Kemper County, zero. Uh, Newton, zero. And it's showing zero for Neshoba County, but I did check that earlier. And, uh, well, let's just look here. It's still showing seven customers that, that they're working on there uh, at Central Electric. You have to go over here to the west side of the state where that storm came in in Claiborne County at 386 and uh, 325 people in Jefferson County with the highest. And then there's some scattered places throughout the county uh, that still has a few. But I have to, and I think everybody that, that watching would agree, that the power companies went above and beyond of working hard tirelessly, uh, hours upon hours, uh, into the night hours to make sure they could get that power back on for you as quickly as they could. Each one of them done a great job. Big thank you to EMEPA, and they kept us up to date with where they were. And that's what it, that's what it's all about, being a part of the community, and they do know that. And uh, just a, a thank you to them for all that they've done there. So that's uh, that's where we got that going on. Let's uh, let's see here. Also, uh, good morning to Linda Culpepper. Charlene Gaddy is up. Thank God it's Friday, she says. <laughs> I agree with you. Now let's look at our seven-day forecast of where we are and what uh, – I highly suggest an umbrella. If you don't own one, today would be a great day to go buy one because rain chances move into the forecast. As we look at the seven-day forecast, then we'll discuss it a little bit uh, further. We've got today with a 20% chance. That's going to go away after about 7 o'clock this morning. Chances are gone. Uh, tomorrow, look at that high over the weekend. It's going to be hot, 81, 82 degrees Saturday and Sunday. Now, we get a slight chance of rain tomorrow, then increasing to a 50%. Monday, it's going to rain 60% on Tuesday. Wow, rain every day that you can see. As you go to that extended forecast there, you'll see that we'll keep into the 70s just about on most of these and right at that 49-degree mark, upper 40s, right at 50. So it's going to be warm as we head into March, and that's all the way through March the 12th. Now, let's talk more about what's going on over the weekend so you'll have a little bit more detailed forecast. As we go in tonight, we're going to dip down to only 62 degrees. That's kind of warm, isn't it? Uh, we'll have very gusty winds all weekend long, 20-mile-an-hour gusts. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, only a slight chance of showers, and that's after lunchtime was when that's going to move in. But the high, 81 and gusty. 
So we could break some records tomorrow. We'll watch that temperature. It's, it's a very big possibility. Again, 20 mile an hour gust tomorrow. So not a great time to burn. I know that you got a lot of pine limbs, but it'd probably be best to, uh, to wait till these gusty winds die down. Now there's, there's not a fire ban in effect, but still the same. It can get away from you quick. Uh, tomorrow night we'll get down to 64. And then as we move into to Sunday, We'll get a chance of showers after church. After you let out of church around lunchtime, that 50% chance of rain moves in, high of 82, and bumping our wind gust up to 25 miles an hour on Sunday afternoon. As we move into Sunday night, when the sun goes down, an 80% chance of rain. We're going to get wet, 57 for the low, and we'll begin Monday on a sour note uh, with uh, a high of uh, only 61, but... Uh, we got an 80% chance of rain. It never is good, is it, on a Monday to start that uh, that work week off with it raining and trying to get to your car. But that that's what's in the forecast over the next few days. So kind of plan around it. Uh, not too bad tomorrow. Slight chances of rain. And then the rain will move in after church on Sunday. Now, again, north of us over the weekend is where they're expecting it to have heavy, heavy rain. Uh, north of Winston County, uh, up to the Delta in those areas. So kind of plan your day know what you're going to do there. Uh, a big thank you to everybody that uh, that is tuned in this morning. And, and join me coming up this morning at 8.30 with Candace. We're going to go over the headlines that are going on around the nation, let you know what goes on, uh, a lot of local things, and also uh, uh, just what's happening in the community. We love your comments and your, uh, your points on things. So join us beginning at 8.30 as she'll come in. Uh, let's see as we keep going here. All right, uh, we'll be back here in just a little bit with all of that. Again, right now, still holding steady at 60 degrees. So be careful uh, on your days out. Remember, if you've got to go south of Meridian toward the coast, uh, Hattiesburg area, if you're headed 59 south, you're going to get into some heavy fog all the way to the coast. And that's just not much we can do about that uh, as it comes along. As I said, more on the way. Join me at 8.30 this morning with Candace's. We'll get, uh, get your day rolling right. Big thank you to all the folks that... Uh, uh, put up with us and sponsor us each day. We do appreciate that. Some fine folks, uh, when you go back to being able to to go out and shop, make sure you spend your money with local folks. They're a part of your church, your community. Well, and it helps them, it helps you. That's all right here at Scotty Ray's Weather. Thank you. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by 